Hey, welcome back to Historic Investments. Today we're going to talk about a llama, a very unusual llama, not in terms of its rarity, but in terms of its finish. It's a gold damascened llama 3A. These guns were made for about uh, 30 years, from about 1950 to about 1980. The vast majority were blued, and many of them ended up in the United States, but not very many were gold damascened. So let's talk about that, and in the course of our discussion, let me um, introduce now, there's a Leslie Rodriguez from Euro Armas. She spent a number of years in Spain studying firearms just like this, so I'm sure she will be able to cut in with some invaluable comments. Leslie? Fantástico. Hola, buenos días. Uh, vamos a hablar de estos pistolas que parecen a Colts. And these are Colt lookalikes. So if you like Colts, don't tune us out. These are important guns. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Any questions, please ask. We'll be happy to answer them. As you might expect for a product made over a period of 30 years, there were a number of variations. Yet, for the, the most part, what you really should consider is the 3A was a scaled down 1911A1. Okay, yes, of course, there were some differences. For example, it's got a, a little rib here. The later ones had ventilated ribs, and it's also got a, a, a windage adjustable rear sight. But for the most part, it's a, a locked breech single action pistol with a, a grip safety and a palm swell. Uh, disassembly and reassembly is just exactly like that of the, uh, the Colt. And so that should appeal to a, a lot of people. These guns were all um, special order items and they literally were pulled from production and um, decorated on a very, very individual basis. So no two are alike and the uh, artists will vary considerably in their skills. So let's take a look at the differences between these two guns. This particular one was made in uh, 1970. This one was made in 1973. And obviously the artistic styles are completely different even though Initially, customers would be ordering a fully damascened gun. So to start off with, you can see that uh, they're, they're both um, single panel. Well, this one's a single panel engraving. This one, the panel is broken up into a bunch of uh, different segments. You can see that the detailing in this gun to your left is not even close to the uh, detailing of the gun in your right. I mean, the animal figurines here, you've got a nice large pheasant. I'm not sure why you need a, a 380 pistol to shoot a pheasant. Um, this one's got a much more traditional A-bar uh, theme on the uh, gun. If you kind of look at the, the, even the panel right here behind the uh, slide serrations, you can see this one's got a lot of foil in it. This one's got some uh, gold thread. This one is far, far more detailed. Um, Lama did insist, though, that uh, certain markings be applied to the gun. So obviously that needs to be manufacturer marked. You can see the uh, Lama and the caliber here are applied to the uh, crest of the slide, but in the uh, rearward portion, the same kind of marking. Again, there's the artists were given a little bit of uh, latitude in terms of where to place the markings. Here it's placed um, just opposite to the uh, ejection port. If you look at other parts of the guns, here you can see that there's a lot of uh, just gold foil with very minimal embellishment here in the uh, trigger recess. Here it's gold thread. It takes a lot more time to apply the gold thread and just a lot more detailing on this gun. Yet, when you again, when you bought it from the factory, they were at the same price. So, uh, Leslie, do you have any comments on the uh, gold damascening? Este pájaro, no sé qué tipo de pájaro, parece como una paloma, parece deforme. No me gusta este pistola, es un poco pues, más corriente que esto. Este está bello. Mire, este, este pájaro parece como el mascota de mi vecino. Mm, pero, y tiene dragons. Está tan bella. Well, she's agreeing. I mean, that's a very detailed, um, uh, a very in-depth uh, Spanish explanation, but uh, in essence, she's saying this is the better guns. Well, if you're a serious collector, the one thing you would really like is kind of a time capsule, just the way these guns left the factory. So, if you're looking at a, a Llama 3A, what do you want? Well, you want it in the original factory box, which is kind of a red, uh, white, and a black box and not only will the serial number be um, imprinted on the end label if you look very closely there, it'll also say in ink uh, usually it's a purplish ink uh, a damascinado which is uh, damascene and of course it's got the uh, the uh, caliber and the model on it and uh, if you open up the box there's always an instruction booklet and this is kind of printed on nice glossy paper with the word llama you've got a set of cleaning implements, which after about 50 years now, the plastic in many cases tends to 
to crack, but anyway, this is what the cleaning implements look like. And then you've got a spare magazine, and the spare magazine, which is wrapped in wax paper, also has a gold damascened and a complimentary matching floor plate. So, if you want the package, here's the package. Well, thank you once again for having joined us today at Historic Investments. Hopefully, you've learned a little bit more about these gold damascened llamas. They're a very unusual pistol yet um, unusual enough to really impress your friends and neighbors and something that you might want to consider adding to your collection. So with that in mind, let me just uh, turn, it to le turn it over to Leslie for her comments. Es estos pistolas están tan bonitas, tan tan bellas, pero en mi opinión uh, no son colts y también yo nunca voy a comprar una pistola de España. She concurs wholeheartedly. So with that in mind, good luck and good collecting.